relax and release. Let go and elevate yourself. Anchor yourself. Take yourself to a higher level. Were you ever in a difficult situation, facing a challenge? And whatever you've done, whatever you're doing, whatever you attempt to do, just doesn't work. Michael Singer says, just focus on these three words, relax and release. Use the opportunity to go to God. U T O T G. Michael Singer says, when you are faced with a challenge, with a difficulty, and you use this method, it's better than meditation, he says. It's actually better than meditation. Very, very powerful. I'll give you an example. I just flew around the world. I went to six different countries around the world. In over 25 cities around the world. And one particular moment comes to my mind. Which really rings home. Brings home this idea of relax and release. I was on my way to Israel and we had a stopover in Poland and had less than an hour left to catch my connecting flight. And we had to stand in line. We had to wait in passport control. We had to have our passports stamped before we could move forward. And there was a part of me starting to panic. <gasps> Am I going to be able to catch this flight? There's less than an hour left. Never mind the fact that it was a tiny airport I was in. <laughs> Still, it is boring. I'll give you that. I'm waiting in line. And there's a part of me which wanted to do what I did last year when I was in a difficult situation like that. I asked people to allow me to go ahead. Let me go ahead of you. I said to myself, no. There's no need for that. Why should I do that? I don't have to jump ahead of the queue, as we call it in England. The queue. The line. No. I could wait in line. And I'll be fine. And I kept on saying to myself, relax and release. Relax and release. Use the opportunity to go to God. And I did. I used the opportunity to go to God. And I waited in line. Took about 15 minutes or so. So we're 45 minutes left for the connecting flight. That's all we have left now. May have even been less. I think it was like 35 minutes left. In any case, I got through to the other side of the line. And it does help the fact that I didn't have any luggage with me. Had my little backpack with me, which by the way is the best way to travel. I found it to be the best way to travel. In any case, I was relax and release, relax and release. I got to the other side of passport control. They said to me, you could explore Poland. And I was like, sure thing, within the next half hour or so. I went up the steps and what did I see? A whole bunch of ultra-Orthodox Haredi Jews. How's that for relax and release? It was amazing. I wanted to kiss every one of them because I didn't know where the connecting flight was. It's an airport, right? But once I saw these Haredi Ultra Orthodox Jews, I knew exactly where I had to go. I've never seen, by the way, so many Jews on a flight in my life. In any case, we went through the check in, security, whatever, and I got onto the connecting flight. It was amazing. On a similar note, on my flight back, we stopped off in Cyprus. And I 
I said, I'm not going to just sit put. We have four hours to the connecting flight. I'm going to do something whilst I'm here. So I took a bus and I was very pleased and glad to hear that it was a national holiday. So I got a free bus. Cool. And also somebody happened to give me money to pay for the buses. So I had even had money to, to use and buy something to drink or whatever. I got on the bus, I got from point A to point B, I saw the beautiful landscape of Cyprus. And then I realized, by the way, my connecting flight is going in about two hours, so I need that bus to come right now. <laughs> I need that bus to come right now. Well, the bus didn't come right now. And the 425, which is the number of bus which passed by, passed by. I had to take the 425. And the bus driver says to me, two, three minutes, don't worry. I'm like, good, yeah, two, three minutes. I have a connecting flight, which I gotta get to, and it's urgent. The bus didn't arrive for a half hour. And I just went, Relax and release, relax and release. Use the opportunity to go to God. Use the opportunity to go to God. And it was like a tape recorder in my head. At one point, I said to myself, Jessica, turn it off. It's like ADHD almost. Relax and release, relax and release. Use the opportunity to go to God. Use the opportunity to go to God. And at one point, I was really panicking because no buses were coming. I don't know, maybe they were very busy with the, with the national holiday. No buses were coming. And then I, I was like, okay, I, I've done the relax and release. Now God, where's my bus? Relax and release, relax and release, relax and release. And when it came to a point where it was detrimental, it was like <laughs> impossible for it not to come anymore. Impossible. So I decided. In any case, God sent the bus and the bus came. Then come two, three minutes, but it came about 25 minutes later, or half hour or so. It was profound. Relax and release, relax and release, relax and release, relax and release. The bus came and I hopped onto the bus and we made it back beautifully. And I got back home and I didn't even wait two minutes out of passport control because the bus out of the airport was right there waiting for me. And I was home within a half hour of that flight, which is absolutely amazing. I can't stress enough how cool it is, how amazing it is to fly with just a backpack. Just narrow down the stuff you need, and if you wanna take buy a lot of stuff in the place you're going to, just send it back in the mail. <laughs> it's better, it's more efficient, it's easier, instead of waiting around for your suitcases, and I've had stories in my life waiting for suitcases which didn't arrive, and <laughs> all sorts of inconvenient, results which came there by and thereafter so it's pretty cool and amazing to travel with um just a backpack <laughs> relax and release it's amazing by the way it's really cool to be back it's nice to be back i can promise you i'll be doing this every week i don't know how often i'm gonna do this i've been a year off social media it's it's quite new to me i feel Weird in a way, and there's a part of me which doesn't want to go back. I read a hundred books over the course of a year. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be doing this every week. I can't promise you. I'll tell you that much. I can't promise you. I, I love the books I read. I, I read about quantum mechanics. I read about photons, energy, nucleus, atomic energy. The works. Einstein's theory, Bohr's theory, the conflict between Einstein and Bohr, Bohr born, it's Bohr born, <laughs> Bohr born, and I forgot the last guy's name, it's just it's quite funny, we all have a different theories when it comes to, um, when it comes to chemistry, Bohr born, and another Bohr, I forgot, I'm, I'm slipped my mind. Let me see. Let me go check. 
I just finished this book tonight. I can't remember the third name, but it's three different Warborns, whatever. It was so cool finishing this book. To read about Einstein and his theories and <laughs> the fact that some people called him senile the latter 30 years of his life. Pretty cool. I could assure you he wasn't senile. I've read books galore. Business, entrepreneurship, um, science, evolution. <gasps> evolution. Where I come from, evolution is like a taboo subject. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting because, because you know, as I studied the laws of evolution, I was made aware and I got an understanding. It's survival of the fittest and that's why I was excommunicated and I was treated like trash. <laughs> they actually put the laws of evolution into practice, survival of the fittest. Treat those who are not exactly like our group. Like the forgotten rubbish of yesterday, the forgotten trash of yesterday. Not to judge anybody, heaven forbid. Just it's interesting, I found it quite interesting how a taboo subject about evolution, which is frowned upon and is actually seen as, as not good for the soul and damaging for the soul. But these people actually put into practice the way they treat these laws, the way they treat me actually puts into practice these amazing laws, which are just human nature and which has allowed us to survive for so many years. Um, some of you might be wondering, hey, Passover is coming? Are we going to talk about Passover, Pesach? No. <laughs> I'm not going to. I've been too busy studying science and enjoying the gifts of life, enjoying the books I read. Um, whether it's science or it's learning about, um, stars, the interstellar, um, dynamics, astronomy, interplanetary, and cosmology rules. Fascinating stuff. I never knew I had excitement for these things. I never knew growing up or whatever. I don't know. But it appears I do. So many books I've read have covered the last year. I've been having a t the time of my life. The time of my life. Excommunication, hatred from other people has actually given me the greatest opportunity imaginable to discover myself, to reinvent myself, and to enjoy the beautiful books. I have a hundred books in number. A hundred books. My vocabulary has improved tenfold. I went to Israel. <laughs> I went straight for the books on science, on chemistry, on, on astronomy, on cosmology, on evolution, on Einstein. That's right. I went straight. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I bought quite a few books in Hebrew, about 15 or so, about 12, I think it's only 12, on cosmology, on Einstein, on et cetera, et cetera. It's like, it's like a gift. It's like an amazing gift I've been given by God. In exchange for rejection, hate, abandonment, I've recreated myself, I've reinvented myself in a beautiful way. And nobody can take that away from you. That's so perfect, so beautiful, so precious. And I've also been able to do a meditation every day in a beautiful way. That's my message today. If you enjoyed this amazing message, and I'm sure you did, Mike, like you always tell me you have, and the rest of you, why not leave your amazing thoughts and insights? You want me to carry on with these amazing videos? I don't mind, but I gotta see a little bit more feedback to do that. On spirituality, I'm a very spiritual person. I was in Israel just now and I, gathered together Jews and Arabs and I got them to sing together. Jews and Arabs, men and women, I got them to sing together and 
celebrate God by doing so. <laughs> I was on our way to the Western Wall and I met some non-Jewish people and I said, I got to get them to, you know, celebrate the gift of life. They didn't want to pose for a picture, but in any case, I made an attempt. I mean, they posed for come, they converse with me about the love of God, the love of life, the love, the gift of life, which is good enough, really. I went to the Western world, it's just so special, it's, I'm sorry, so precious, so special to talk to God, to connect to God in a beautiful way. As a transgender woman, it felt profound. It was like, I'm, I am as my authentic self, no facades, no pretenses, just myself connecting with God in a beautiful way. It was, it was so profound, so beautiful, it was precious. And I spoke to God and I cried to God and it was amazing. It was precious. Will I go back? When will I go back? I don't know. God is with me every day in every single way, wherever I am. I have to go anywhere to be with God. But yeah, I might go back. It was, I had a good time. It was nice. Visiting different countries, Cyprus, visiting um, Austria, visiting Ireland. Oh, did I make a mistake when I went to Ireland? I... <laughs> oh, I made a pretty bad mistake. I went over to somebody and I said to them, So, you have a Scottish accent, don't you? They were like, No, it's, a, it's an Irish accent. Oh my God, that I feel like a fool. But it was, it was cool, it was funny, part of the experience. I bet a lot of Americans make that kind of mistake. <laughs> it was just really funny. Um, I had been to Tennessee, I had been to the Ruby Falls in Tennessee, which some Jewish guy funded, funds, I mean he's dead, and, but his family thereafter has looked after the caves. It was profound, it was amazing. Um, I was in Florida, I was in uh, North and South Carolina, and Georgia. A lot of fun. Got to see God's beautiful world. Precious gift. Had a lot of fun though. A lot, a lot of fun. Friend, we went, we drove for hours and hours and hours. Um, road trip. We had such fun. That's my message. Have a beautiful evening. Have a beautiful day tomorrow. I love you all and I look forward to seeing your amazing comments. And if you have any topic you want me to discuss, spirituality, 101, Michael Singer, 101. I've read many books by Michael Singer over the last year. I mean, not many books, shall, shall I say. I've read and listened to a few of his books. I've also listened to books on, listened and read books by, um, about the story of Elon Musk. I think it's, he's a profound individual. Um, and many others. Many, 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 many others. I don't know. Should I talk about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay? If you want me to hear, if you want to hear about the other books I've read, or the other 100 books which I've read over the year, leave in the comment section down below. I look forward to your amazing comments, your amazing insights, your amazing ideas, and your questions too. Have a great evening.